All right, y'all, now check it out. Now, David Benavidez and his team, his trainer, his dad, Jose Senior, comes out and um, says that they're not interested in David Morrell fight right now. You know, it's not a stamp on it for September or October. Um, they saying that they think Morrell lack experience, right? He doesn't have enough experience to even really, you know, mess with a guy like um David Benavidez and also they um saying that his fan base is kind of low you know um y'all know David Benavidez has been trying to get Canelo Canelo doesn't want to fight him Canelo is talking about going to fight the Charlo twin Jamal Charlo okay and um I'm not feeling that too much um the Charlo twin Y'all, Jamal, when he was talking to Boo Boo Andre on that um chat thing, y'all, that live thing, this guy looked totally out of it. Like, where where he been at? This dude looked like he's out of his mind, like he's just, you know, not there. Um, He wasn't talking like himself. You know, he, he be talking greasy, right? Wasn't talking like himself. Wasn't looking like himself. He looked as swollen in the face. His hair was all wild. Like, what is going on with Jamal Charlo, man? You know, he looked depressed. Like, come on. And, 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 and Canelo want to get him when he's weak, you know. Right now, he's the weakest link out the bunch, you know, out, out of the people we want to see Canelo fight, you know, um. Just not feeling, you know, that fight right now. But maybe, and then he don't even got enough time to even get himself in shape. He need way more. This guy need way more than three months. We talking about September. We already in June. July, August, September. Nah, nah, man, nah. But anyways, y'all. Now, Canelo been ducking, Right? Don't want to fight um David Benavidez. Trying to get the easy touch, <laughs> man. I hope I I hope Jamal Charlo knock him out if he do fight Jamal. Dog, I ain't lying. Even though I think Canelo can beat Jamal, right? I thought Canelo can beat Jamal at his best, but now since he been doing all this ducking, this stuff is ridiculous, man. Like, come on, Canelo, man. Like, listen. What is you doing, man? You ain't even really took no damage in your career. At least give us a couple fights. You got to fight Jamal. We definitely want to see you fight um, David Morrell. Right? People want to see you fight David uh, um, David Benavidez. I, I meant to say definitely David Benavidez. People not going to let that fight go. But we want to see you fight Damon Morrell and um, Boo Boo Andre and Jamal. So at least, at least you can at least give us a, you know, fight a couple of a couple of them. Fight two of them. You know, like, man, it's ridiculous, man. But anyways, y'all. <sighs> now, David Morrell, I mean, David, David Benavidez. He don't want to fight David Morrell, okay? And I told you he's. They say he's because of his fan base, and they think he lack of, you know lack of um experience. He's not ready right now, but a lot of people think the Cuban fighter is ready right now, y'all. You know, but um, David Benavidez, y'all, who he want, he want Jaime Magia, okay? Which that'd be a good fight if it's if it's made. They want him because they feel like he's you know, basically um, rising in a boxing game as a superstar, you know. They think he, you know, as his fan base, they saying that he, they saying that all Canelo fans is basically leaning, you know, basically hopping on his, uh, hopping on his train, you know what I mean? So they want him or they want, um, they want um, Demetrius Bevel, you know what I'm saying? And, David Benavidez has been talking about going to 175 
fighting these guys. And I'm going to tell y'all, man, this Demetrius Bevel versus David Benavidez is something people need to push for. It'll be a great fight. You know, it's something that need to happen. You know, um, if, if David Benavidez can make this happen, y'all, this would be a checkmate on um, Canelo Alvarez, especially if he beat, you know, Demetrius, Demetrius Bevel, you know. I think it's a fight that can be made if Eddie Hearn willing to do it, willing to do business, you know, with Al Heyman them, y'all. I think it's a fight need to be made. Um, Bevel should get David Van Der Vee the shot, you know, defend his WB, WBA title against David Van Der Vee y'all, since um, Canelo is ducking, ducking them, right? And also... um. They can't, they can't, you know, Bevo and Canelo, they can't even make the fight happen, you know, at 175 or 168, you know. If y'all know that situation, Bevo don't want it at 175. He cut that off, right? And then the WBA, the WBC sanctioning body, right? They not going to sanction the fight for Dimitri, Demetrius Bevo, you know? And I would love to, for this fight to happen, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's more easier this fight happening, you know, David Benavidez, Bevel, than it is, I think, um, David Benavidez, Hani, Hami McGee, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't want to make this video this long. I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on with um, David Benavidez. He want to fight. Hami McGill, or he won um, Demetrius Bevel, you know. In a, in a way, I can't blame him, but I wouldn't say he ducking David Morrell, okay? Benavidez, um, Benavidez is not ducking David Morrell, you know, and I think he can beat him. He's just trying to do, you know, bigger and better things and get um a bigger fight, you know, on a bigger Ricker scale, bigger payday, you know, bigger payday, y'all. Um, and they also was talking about how he can revenge, you know, Canelo lost and um, Zor Zordo or Maraz, you know, they both lost to Bevel, right? So they this is th th what they saying is David Morrell, no, excuse me, David Benavidez can defend, you know, uh, revenge. Okay, they lost this, so they trying to say it'd be something like, you know, the revenge of the Mexicans, you know, which I kind of like that. That's dope, y'all. That's, do that's dope to me. But, y'all, I'm going to check out to the next one.